Hi everyone. It's good to be your way again. Yes, this is Word of Hope. It's a program where we interview people, we have chats with people, we interview them, we listen to their stories, we hear their testimonies. I don't know what you are going through presently now. Some people have been there and God helped them through. Um, I, I gave myself, um, what is it target now? That I want to buy so, 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 I want to end up finishing Crate of Snatch. While I was in secondary school, I said one of the dreams I had was I wanted to be a physics teacher, like I said, and then I, would, I wish I would have uh, 10 shirts and uh, <laughs> 5 trousers. The saliva she injected into my mouth now turned into a muscle. And I felt it moving down my stomach. I took it to. I saw, and Baba said, I remember Baba said, it was not with water. I remember the Bible says, For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down. At the scent of the water, it is sprout again. So we are in the house of one of them. You don't know the person yet. Can you guess the person we are visiting right now? Okay, you want to know? Then come with me. Oh, you're Johnson. Let's go. <music> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Well, thank you, sir. So this is Dr. Adeoye Homoni. He's a medical doctor and a drama minister. Oh, you need to know more about it. There, there are some things you need to know about it that you've not heard from somewhere before. And I'm so sure that his story will encourage you. Am I right? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> You're Good welcome. to be here, sir. Thank How you. you. I'm very proud. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Trust in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down. At the scent of the water, it will sprout again. So I welcome you to another edition of Word of Hope. Hmm. Do you feel hopeless? Are you trying to give up because of what you are going through? Oh, come on, not so fast. Because with God, all things are possible. Some people have been through that stage before. They have experienced what you are experiencing now and they overcame. Now they have testimonies to share. And I want to believe you will learn from their testimony because the testimony shall be a blessing unto you. God bless you as you watch us in Jesus' name. So I have an important person here with me. Golly, you know, he's just, he's golly, he's handsome, <laughs> he's caring, loving, he's been a wonderful person. If you know him, I believe you will. You will confirm what I'm saying. Thank you for hosting us today. <laughs> Thank you for accepting us into your house. God bless you. And we believe we're going to learn a lot of things from you. Your testimony shall give hope to the hopeless. Those who want to give up. Because I want to believe by the, by the time they hear what you've been through and how God helped you, I believe somebody will be encouraged. Can we meet you, sir? Uh, uh, well, my name is Dr. Moni Adoye. Oluwa Somi. I was born on the 28th of October in the 70s into the family of uh, one Mr. Ifedayo Omoni Yayadi and um, Abosede Omoni Yayadi. Uh, we hail from, okay, I hail from Ilutitun, you know, Kitupa local government of Ondo State. Um, I attended St. Fimba's um, RCM Primary School in Akure, and then Independence Grammar School in Ondo Town, and Ladu Kakitola University of Technology uh, in Obomosho, where I eventually studied medicine and surgery. Wow. I am married. Okay, sorry. I am married to an Ijesha woman, and we are blessed with four kids. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Yeah. laughs> so happy to hear that. I'm sure that mm. you'll be eating pounded yam regularly. <laughs> uh, it's, it, of course, it's my best meal. Wow. <laughs> That's with, so nice. with F4. F4, you roll. 
<laughs> Efor World of War. Okay, <laughs> not just any Efor, Efor World of War to be specific. Thank you, sir. So, growing up, how was it like? Uh, well, um, growing up was, um, at that time, was fun. It was fun. I, I'm actually a product of broken home. Um, a lot of challenges between my dad and mom then. My dad was a policeman and then my mom was a petty trader. We lived in the police barrack. Mm. Uh, but at a particular point in time, my dad had problem with the government and he uh, was dismissed from the work. So he left home, mm. left all of us uh, in search for um, green pasture. When he was going, I think he, he had that the problem had to do with. Uh, of course, I, I I may not be able to go into the details of that now, but the summary of the problem was, a, it's a problem with the government, mm. and they said that uh, shot somebody, that um, that uh, came in form of a thief, and then. So it's related to a powerful man in the country and became a big problem for him that he had to be dismissed from police work. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, the, around that time, the last time I saw him was when he himself and my mom went to court from home. I was told that, uh, my mother told me, Ade, we're going to court today. Mm -hmm. Pray for your father that he comes back. And that was around 1982. All right, so they went, but when she came back, she came alone and she, weeping, crying that uh, he, he had been forced to stay and all that. So we did not see him. After appeal, he was uh, discharged and acquitted, but the police did not um, absorb him back. So we were alone with our mother. Okay, he was discharged and acquitted around 1983. He came home one night. So he was ashamed, you know, because of the news of uh, what happened. He only came home in the night and left very early in the morning. He came home like uh, one or two nights. So we'll just have a you know, flash of him coming in, we wouldn't know. And then the money would have gone. So uh, when he left, he left a note for us that uh, he was going to search for um, work or where to stay, that if he comes back, no problem. If he does not come back, that our mother should uh, show us the note he dropped that uh, he has gone to search for. That it is not that he does not love us. Mm. So she had left. So we are alone with our mother. And she, of course, she moved from petty trading to uh, food selling to all manner of things and uh, we're well, like that, like uh, a fatherless child, children, fatherless children in the barrack, in the police barrack. Mm. So, but to God be the glory, around 1987, it was um, recalled back to the police. So we were united back to our, to our father. But not too long after then, um, there was a complete um, separation between the two of them and we had to live with our stepmother who at that time, um, of course, the normal thing that is expected of a stepmother. Mm. Normal, <laughs> normal, 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 little torture here and mm. there. Don't eat now, uh, eat later so that it can be your dinner. Mm. Okay. Oh, you want to take Gary? put it in the cup, let it soak very, very well, well so that uh, you can be satisfied. There's no granite, there's no kuni no kuni, sugar. no sugar, nothing. Take salt and uh, uh, unripe um, pepper. Wow. Okay. So all you know, things like that, just the normal things that is expected from a poor, um, poor stepmother. And you did not run away from home because of that. There was nowhere to <laughs> run to, actually. There was nowhere. Because around that time, my mother had left home mm. 
and uh, we did not know where she was living. Mm. So we were all in Ondo town. Not until, I didn't know where she was, not until a day that I saw her from afar hawking with a tray. You no, know, it was hawking provision. I said, Ade, Ade, Ade. And I ran to, to her. I said, ah, I'm blowing I said, they're fine. I said, where are you, mommy? He said, I'll take you there. Mm. And she took me there. So I knew where she was. Mm. Uh, not too long after I knew the place, I packed everybody wow. to where she was. So generated a lot of things at home. And then uh, my dad said that uh, we are not serious. And so from there, we, we were with our mother. And uh, of course, the distance of uh, my secondary school to home is, is how many kilometers? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a far distance. And you would trek? Sometimes, or most times. Occasionally, I would not, but most times I would trek. Uh, my mother tried. She, she tried to meet up with, the, of course, the six of us. Uh, my dad would come sometimes at the end of the month with a little token to support her. He would drop it in the court. My mother would go and pick the money. And uh, she was selling a bean cake, akara. So she, would, she would bake bean cake in the morning and at night, and then fish in the afternoon, you understand? So we were like that. Myself and my immediate younger brother used to hawk the bean cake from the shop to the garage. Um, that time, it was fun for us. We were doing it with all joy. We were fine doing it. It does not affect us. It does not stop anything. It does not stop us from mingling with other people from well-to-do home, from people who go to beautiful schools. No, it does not affect us at all. We're just doing our own thing. In fact, at that point, some parents in the neighborhood <laughs> would almost beat their children to coma, saying that, uh, can't you see Ade? Can't you see his brother Wally? The way they assist um, their yeah. mother. So they will be comparing and contrasting. They will be hearing and they will be seeing them. <laughs> so it was um, fun for us that time because Sorry. we never tasted the rosy part of life. Oh, oh. So, we didn't so you know. did not even see that one as any issue. It was fun. We were just mm. continuing our life. In fact, the first day, I entered a flat house. I entered the house to teach nursery and primary school. I said I wanted to be teaching. I was a secondary school student, maybe at SS1. So I said, oh, I can be teaching nursery, I mean, children who are in primary school. So you've been hard working from the childhood days. Uh, while I was in the secondary school, I said, I want to teach some people in the primary school. So there, there is this politician not too far from my mother's shop. I approached him that I can be teaching his children Maybe during the weekend. He said, okay, yeah, come in. And I entered the house. I said, what kind of a house is this? <laughs> what kind of a house is this? Because the kind of house I'm used to. Face me, face, face, face you, me, barrack face style. You. And in fact, we live in the BQ. Okay. <laughs> if we want to rent a house, it must be the BQ. Mm. But I cannot but mention a friend of mine mm. that I would not forget. Mm. His name is Enumidu Owosheni. Wow. And Olorun uh, Owosheni. We live mm. in the same house mm. in Ondo town. Those guys, they go to the best public school in Ondo that time, St. Joseph College. While I attend... Independent Grammar School. So they have a good set of teachers in their school. When they come, they have textbooks, they read books. So I will, I'll, I'll go to them and say, what topic were you taught in physics? What topic were you taught in chemistry? What topic were you taught in biology? So I go inside the room and look at those topics. Mm -hmm. So I want to meet up, even though uh, we may not have been taught in our school, but I want to meet up with them. So they were a source of inspiration to me, two guys. So we were friends, and then like that, like that, like that. I fell in love that time with um, teaching. I felt that the best thing I could do 
in life is to become a teacher. Mm. And I wrote it somewhere that time mm. that uh, I wish in life to be a class teacher, mm. a physics teacher, and a mathematics teacher. And I also wrote some of my dreams while I was in secondary school. I said one of the dreams I had was I wanted to be a physics teacher, like I said, mm. and then I, I wish I would have uh, 10 shirts. Wow and uh, <laughs> five trusses <laughs> and uh, I also wish to build a face me and face your apartment at wow. least six rooms. Wow, and, what um, a dream. <laughs> yes, I, I wrote it down that time okay. and I also wrote that I, I will also have uh, two taxi cabs mm. such that when I finish, when, when I finish in the school, I drive one mm. for public purpose, for commercial purpose rather. <laughs> And then I'll give one out. Mm. Um, returns will be given. They'll be to giving me. you returns on daily basis. Yes. So, so not so knowing that God had better plans, bigger plans for you. Yes. So we still get there. Yes. So don't limit yourself. God has a better plan for you. So I didn't know. Uh, but in 1998, my mother fell sick. Um, and um, 98. I, we were busy selling a car, assisting her, doing machineries for people who want to write jam and uh, work, work <laughs> and all that. I did not write jam for myself. Mm. And I finished, I finished secondary school, 94, 95. Mm. Why well, didn't write jam? Why? Because to pay for the jam was uh, somehow. But I, I was writing jam for people and they, they were passing, mm. and I didn't bother myself. Of course, I was teaching. I had a lesson, too. I was teaching, and I was teaching also in the Northern Primary School, and I would come back and assist my mother in her shop. And I felt that, Even of course... Even after secondary school, you yeah. still go to Hawk Akara, as in being uh, Well, after secondary, I didn't Hawk, but I was in, always in the shop. Mm, to assist her. To assist. When always in the shop. hearing that. You can't be too big to help your parents. No. You are helping yourself by doing so. Of course. So, 1998, she fell sick and uh, she died. And, um, of course, <laughs> during her ailment, it was tough for us. She, we didn't have money to go to hospital, and they were so ignorant about hospital. Mm, that was that, uh, that uh, she, she would always say that. It is not our type that uh, goes to hospital. <laughs> so it is not our type that goes to hospital. In terms of finance, in terms of but financial I see ability. Actually, built an hospital. Now a medical doctor. Don't look down on yourself. It is not over. Yes, yeah. sir. So uh, she, she she fell sick, and a uh, pastor that time took her to hospital, and they said that her blood was low. And she has uh, diabetes. That just came. This is money. This is going to be expensive. That you come to us. She said, "No, it is. This is the devil." Mm. Said, "This is the devil." She must be very spiritual. So, yes, she she was. I didn't mention that. Mm. So, this is the devil. So we attached Everything. spiritual. No, we attached spirituality to it. Um, in fact, at the time, I remember I visited the um, synagogue church mm. when I heard that uh, a lot of sick people were finding healings there. So I went there. I, sep I slept in one of the shops uh, nearby. I wanted to see how they, they were bringing the sick people and uh, how they were you know, queuing so that I can bring my mother the next week. So I slept there and I saw it. So I said, okay, next week my mother will be, will be here. Mm. So I went back home to Ondo Town. I, I, I left home a day before. My mother said, where did you go? I said, I went to synagogue. I said, why? I said, uh, I want to take you there next week. I said, Ade, I need you to promise me, uh, promise me on so-so and so-so thing. So why the promise? We'll go to synagogue next week. <laughs> and then she held my clothes and said, you have to promise me. 
and all the things that I promised I have done mm. to the glory of God. Mm. So, uh, like two, three days after that day, she died. Yeah. And then we buried her. It was after her death that uh, my eyes opened. Mm. And then, because she was all we had mm. that time in Ondota, all of us, we just felt empty, mm. felt, why would we stay here? How do we move from here? Yeah? Myself and my middle younger brother, who is a barrister now. Wow. Um, we, we decided to, to, to move out of Ondo Town. So I heard about pre-degree program in uh, Lautech. And we also heard about uh, a remedial course in uh, so, Ibadopoli. So the death of your mother did not cause you set back actually. No, not but at you all. saw it as a challenge to really move forward and achieve something great in life. Yes, because we felt we were, we, we could not stay back. We just had to move away. Some people would have probably given up that, oh, <laughs> that's the end, and they will feel like there is no life again. It will make their life worse instead of, you know, bringing out the positive out of the issue. Yes, but that was not my case. Mm. So. Uh, we, we heard about those courses and we approached our father. I said, okay, no problem. I know that your mother is dead. I will send you to school. Mm. He said, he will send us to school. I said, okay, no problem. So, uh, for the first time, he, he did beautifully well. And uh, he encouraged us to go to school. My, our last born, Tusi, my mother said, it was eight. she was eight when my mother died. Um, Mother said I should promise that uh, those things must not leave my sight. I said, okay. So when I was to go to school, I remembered the promise. So I took her along. I told my dad. I said, okay. So I took her along to school. So we were living together. Okay. And she was, you know, she cooperated a lot. And then, um, you know, uh, with pre-degree program, it is after the program that you will now choose the course, the course to study. To study. Mm. So in the course of uh, pre-degree, uh, we were given a form and I was to fill the form that day. My, of course, my ambition was to become a physics teacher. teacher. <laughs> and I think there is a department of physics. Pure <laughs> and applied physics. Physics, love it. But my, one of my friends now advised that I should pick electrical electronics, engineering, mm -hmm. and I will take my, make second my second choice, choice to be physics. pure and applied physics. Mm -hmm. When I was to do that, my dad just came to Bomosho. Wow. So he just came, said, uh, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Okay. I said, how is school? I said, it's fine. I said, ah, they gave us social form to fill. I said, ah, looked at it and said, okay, what are you going to fill here? I said uh, electrical electronics and my second choice would be choice would be physics. I said no, 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 don't 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 feel that. No, no. Mm. I said put medicine. I said, ah, I, I don't like biology. <laughs> I said, oh no. I said put medicine. I said if I put medicine, it means you no know, uh, money for test books and all that. I said, put medicine. I said I will sponsor you. Mm. So I felt I so I I, I filled the form. I wrote medicine. So there is something that keeps coming to my spirit as we're talking, as in about one important thing we need to learn from this story. Still thinking about your mom's death, as in how everything started turning around, the new life, the change, the positivity, and all of that. Even your ambition. Somehow, somehow, it changed to where, I want to believe, where God wants you to be. So, and I want to use that to encourage somebody. So I don't know who is listening to us now and you are giving up. Maybe you've lost somebody, just lost a mother or a father or someone so dear to you and you think, oh, an end has come to your world. No. If you can be positive, if you can pick up the challenge, it is not over. It could be a new chapter of greatness for you. Therefore, don't lose hope. Don't give up. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's important. It's important. So I, I, we, I, I picked the course. So I, I caught the challenge. So I was reading, and God, God gave me the course. Mm. Uh, I found myself in the Department of Medicine, mm. and Surgery, 
And um, of course, my dad promised that he uh, would sponsor. Sponsor. He did his best until his retirement. Oh. So when he retired, uh, there was no money to pay school fees any longer. Oh. And uh, <laughs> it became difficult. In the course of um, my, you know, my activities in Lautech, I met Dr. Are. When he came to direct a movie um, produced by a particular fellowship, SCM, titled Moment Despised in the year 2000 or 1999. So uh, I met Dr. Are that year and he encouraged me. He said, of course, I, I joined the drama department in the fellowship, so mm. I had reason to meet him. So he encouraged me and I joined Calvary Drama Ministry year 2001. And um, now, my, my dad retired 2004. I just finished part three, going to part four. So when we're going to part four, there's no school fees, nothing. Mm -hmm. But I've been very active in the drama, very, very active. So. Practically, I was eating with uh, drama money because I will, I will pack, you know, the DVD, hawk from Ubomosho mm. to Lisha mm. to Oshogbo to Akure, like that, and I was getting some little little change to sustain. Mm. And um, along the line, along the line, God really favored me. God favored me and he positioned me in this place, this position. He put the zeal of drama into me and uh, of course, here I am. To God be the glory. I have not achieved um, the purpose of God for my life in totality, but I believe that God is with me. And he has set a focus, he has set a vision before me, and I believe that it will help me to achieve them. Hmm. Hallelujah. That Amen. is interesting. We thank God for your life, and in fact, we're so happy for you, sir. And I believe this testimony will encourage someone that, so you cannot conclude your future because of the humble background you have. Oh, in fact, you don't need to limit yourself because of the situation you are in now. And you limit your dream. Don't limit your dream because of your present situation. Because you don't know the future. And if you know the one who holds the future, then he has something better, something great for your future. You don't need to give up. And um, don't allow the challenges of life to push you backward. Rather see it as a stepping stone to launch out into your greatness. I know God will help you. Yeah. Sir, before we take a leave, what advice would you like to give to people out there? Probably some people are going through hard time now and they want to give up or they want to settle for less. What advice do you want to give them from your experience and other people? Well, my, my advice is that we should be flexible. Mm. Whatever decision we are making, we should learn to lean on God. Mm. Of course, He's our maker. When we lean on him, he can decide to put us here or put us here. Mm. We would design our life in a way that suits him, that uh, even at the end of everything, we, we appreciate it. Mm. We should not be, we should not barricade our focus. Mm. We should prevent barrier. We should prevent seeing barriers. Mm. We have some people, when, when, when they fall victim of a small problem, the next thing they see is problem. Mm. They see problem. We should be solution seeker. Mm. We should surrender everything into the hands of God. Whatever comes our ways, of course, we should pray to God, but I'm not going towards that side. I'm just saying that we should be flexible, that we should learn to lean on God. Say, God, whatever Mm. you want for me. Mm. That is Proverbs chapter 3 you are quoting to for us indirectly. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
I mean, all your ways acknowledge it, and it shall direct your path. Thank you for giving us this access to your home and to have, you know, to be part of this story, to be part of your story, to be part of this testimony. And we know that by the time we come again, we we'll have more testimonies, greater testimonies Amen. to even share Amen. to the glory of God. We're Thank so happy. Much. Thank you for having us, Dr. Adeoye Omoni. Thank you very much. Yes, he's a medical practitioner, a drama minister, yes, a director, a producer, and actor, so many things, and a businessman. Now, yeah. I think you're, you're talking about politics again. <laughs> 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 so let's you know that he's still very hard working. He learned that, or let me say, the life taught him that. He embraced it, and he's making use of all those things he learned even when the life was difficult. But thank God for where he is today. Don't give up on your dream too. Remember, he left us with this note, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Thank you. This is the word of all To every failing